All right, so this is to my true Gilmore Girl fans out there. Fans, not friends. So this is the letter that Rory wrote that we couldn't see while Rory read the letter. She was dating Jace. What was his name? Jason, I think. Uh, we all knew it was Jesse who was the one. Jesse just didn't know how to communicate. And I feel like if he would have did the long distance instead of trying to take her away, it would have worked out. But she was like, this dude's crazy. <laughs> but anyways, um, and it's on a dragonfly and like postage. So I'll post that one tomorrow. But this was the one without the cursive, how she was writing, because you can't really read it. So anyways, dear Rory, so right now you are ready. Well, oh, I'm sorry, dear Rory. So right now you are reading my sealed words of wisdom as the tormented, foolish, but persistent cad hangs off every nonce, nonce of your reactions. His heart and mind in a dizzling flurry of questions as to how the outcome will play out. As you read this, delight in the knowledge that this lovesick pup before you does not have a clue. <laughs> now, ordinarily, after a fool has taken my daughter's love for granted, if I did not kill him through a slow and excruciatingly painful death, I would instruct my daughter, much like Miss Havisham did to Estella in Great Expectations, I don't know who that is, to be cold-blooded and calculating to dash his hopes and to crush him. However, this decision is all yours to make. Love is exclusive and all-encompassing. When you fall under its intoxicating spell, it is, I swear. This is for a, a person who um, deal with domestic violence um, twice um, in the same relationship. Um, a four-year time frame. You have little recourse, but to live out is devices. If you love this boy, maybe you want to give him another chance. Good luck. Love you, mom. I love the ending because that is love, but it's not true love, obviously. God bless.